everyone, this is Dr. Alex Vasquez. I decided to make this quick video in response to an email that I received today. And in a few more slides, I'll share that email with you. Uh, it concerns my integrative orthopedics book, which in this photo is in its second edition, but the book is now in its third edition. Uh, the new version of the book contains some updated information on migraine headaches, iron overload, and fibromyalgia. Uh, as some of you know, I've published several books now on fibromyalgia. Uh, and so I decided to include that information in this most recent edition of the Integrative Orthopedics book because it's such a common musculoskeletal condition uh, here in the U.S. It affects several million patients. So obviously it was you know, relatively easy and a good idea for me to include that information in this book because it expands the uh, number of patients that can be treated based on the information in this book by several million people. So this was the email that I received today. It was really quite nice, uh, January 29th, 2013. Uh, Dear Dr. Vasquez, Integrative Orthopedics is an amazing body of work. The density of the material for the cost is amazing. If every chiropractic student learned this book inside and out, we would be in our rightful place in the new health paradigm within three years. And I believe that that's true, especially if this information were combined with the information in my hypertension books or my uh, clinical mastery books. So he goes on to say that this book takes his clinical practice uh, and probably personal care to a whole new level. Uh, one of the cases that I review in the book, I believe it's in chapter one, uh, was the case of a uh, man who had come to see me with rheumatoid arthritis. And that's what he's referring to here in the last sentence on the screen as it's shown right now. Um, and this man in particular had a blood test called high sensitivity C-reactive protein. And the normal value on a C-reactive protein level uh, like this should be between like zero and three. Uh, and this man's result came back at 124. And within about one month's period of time, it was actually about five weeks, uh, without using any anti-inflammatory drugs, I was able to, you know, alleviate his disease and improve his health to such an extent that his high sensitivity C-reactive protein went from 124 down to 7. So I believe that's about a 96% reduction just within five weeks worth of time and again without using any anti-inflammatory drugs. So, you know, it's always good for me to get positive feedback like this. He says, keep doing what you're doing. Uh, and he says he also owns my book on uh, the treatment of chronic hypertension and wants to know about some other publications. So I really appreciate this email. And so I wanted to, you know, take a few moments out of my day just to uh, spread some information about the book. I think the book contains a lot of really good information. Uh, and I think that if it were used more broadly, uh, and as he says, by chiropractic students in particular, then I think it could certainly help the chiropractic profession uh, transform itself. And again, in some of my other books, my books on hypertension, fibromyalgia, uh, naturopathic and chiropractic and naturopathic mastery of common clinical disorders, uh, I do talk about treating other conditions, everything from viral infections to psoriasis to rheumatoid arthritis and such. So in the third edition of the textbook, uh, it's about 610 pages at this point. That comes out to about nine cents per page. Uh, and this is the third edition, as I, I've already said. Uh, the page size is 8.5 by 11, which is, you know, in the book world, that's a pretty big page size, and it's because I have photos and graphics within the book, and I need to obviously allow space for diagrams and things like that. Uh, it's black and white on the inside, grayscale, diagrams, photographs. Uh, I use a pretty small font, so it's actually a very dense book uh, and lots of information per page. Again, it's 610 pages. Uh, I first published this book in 2004. I updated it later that same year and then published a second edition in 2007 and then a third edition in 2012. Uh, it's got at least 2,600 citations, probably more than that. Uh, and I think that if a you know clinician or healthcare provider were to use this in their practice on a regular basis, they should certainly be able to recoup the cost of the book. Uh, for example, if you treat, you know, one patient with migraine headaches, then you've certainly um, had a good chance of being successful with them if you use the protocol that I've outlined. And, you know, I think migraine headaches are relatively easy to treat, uh, but if you look at a more complex condition, for example, like fibromyalgia, 
I mean, those are patients who really need integrative care, and the model that I've been publishing for several years now uh, and, have, and have recently updated again uh, really is the best model for the treatment of those patients rather than just treating them with antidepressant drugs and you know pain relieving drugs those drugs never address the underlying problem and the underlying problem that causes fibromyalgia is very well known now so I think it would really be more ethical if the medical profession and healthcare professions as a whole were to address that condition at its root uh, and its root cause rather than simply you know drugging the symptoms which is what a lot of healthcare seems to do these days uh, the diagnostic criteria for fibromyalgia were updated in 2010. I posted an update uh, of those criteria on my website in 2012, and actually, I just updated it again last week. So if you want the most current version of uh, the checklist and the video that I've made uh, related to the diagnosis and treatment of fibromyalgia, you're certainly welcome to access that. It's on my website, which is optimalhealthresearch.com. It's also available on uh, YouTube and Vimeo. I offer several of my books uh, kind of clustered together for a discounted price. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's available from my website, which again is optimalhealthresearch.com. So again, this is the cover of the book. Back of the book, of course, describes the book in more detail. You're, you're certainly welcome to pause the screen and pause the video at any time, and you can certainly uh, read this uh, in more detail. Uh, very briefly, Chapter 1 covers the introduction, concepts, patient assessments, uh, and musculoskeletal emergencies. And over the last couple years, I've added a completely new and updated section on the interpretation of laboratory tests. Everything from CBC to chemistry and metabolic panels to urinalysis to more functional tests like stool analysis and uh, looking at inflammatory markers, etc. Chapter 2 is what we call in naturopathic medicine reestablishing the foundation for health. Chapter 3 is generally what I refer to as basic or comprehensive musculoskeletal care. And then after that, I just take a head to toe approach to assessing and treating musculoskeletal conditions. So we start with the head, skull, and temporomandibular joint. We go to the neck and cervical spine, thoracic spine, ribs, chest wall, shoulder, arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, and hand, including carpal tunnel syndrome, of course. Then we go back to the spine, low back and lumbar spine, pelvis and sacroiliac joints, hip and thigh, knee, ankle, uh, leg, ankle, and foot. And then I get into the newer topics for this book, of iron overload, fibromyalgia, uh, additional concepts and selected therapeutics, and then some core competencies and self-assessments. So uh, I encourage you to take a look at the book. Uh, and again, of course, there's more information on my website. Uh, and actually, at the Amazon.com website, they have a feature where you can actually look inside the book and look at a few pages. Uh, I've gotten lots of positive feedback on the book over several years. Uh, this was another really nice, uh, you know, kind of spontaneously written uh, email. Uh, this student says, he says, I'm a chiropractic student at one of the chiropractic colleges. Just wanted to drop a quick line thanking you for your thorough and accessible textbook, Integrative Orthopedics. We are using it in our differential diagnosis class, and it is the best book I've come across in chiropractic college, bar none. The writing is concise, informative, and refreshingly eloquent. The material is super practical. I hope you continue putting out great resources. So again, you're certainly welcome to read these. They're on my website, and I've you know obviously cut and pasted them here. Uh, this student writes in 2008, so this would have been on the second edition. After coming across your text in the library, I quickly found your insights and explanations of the current health care crisis and in-depth coverage and algorithms for inflammatory diseases as a profound inspiration and call to action. I appreciate your attention to detail, and I've been taken back several times by the potency and meaning of your sentences." So that's obviously a very positive comment, and I appreciate that. A lot of times I do pack a lot of uh, dense and diverse information into a few paragraphs, and sometimes just one or two sentences. Uh, and so I appreciate that this reader uh, picked up on, on the effort that I put into that. Your integrative orthopedics book is magnificent. I wish all textbooks were structured and as thoughtful as, as that one. 
So I appreciate the positive feedback here from uh, readers, reviewers. Some of these are actually department heads at chiropractic colleges and uh, they found the, the book to be quite useful. This uh, excerpt from the back of the book just gives you my quick uh, kind of thumbnail sketch of my professional accomplishments. Uh, by this time in 2013 uh, I've published uh, 10 books and about a hundred articles in various journals such as the Lancet, uh, Lancet's website that is British Medical Journal, Annals of Pharmacotherapy, Nutritional Perspectives, JMPT, JAMA, uh, Journal of the American Osteopathic Association, uh, Journal of Clinical Endocrinology and Metabolism, and Arthritis and Rheumatism which is the official journal of the American College of Rheumatology. Uh, I have several of these articles available at my website for download and again my website is optimalhealthresearch.com. Uh, some of the other books I've published, I published this book uh, just last year in 2012, Functional Immunology and Nutritional Immunomodulation Presentation Slides Part 1. So what I did here is publish about half of the book, roughly speaking, is in text, and then the other half of the book are actually my slide presentations for a new treatment protocol that I developed and actually first presented in Paris, France. Uh, the acronym that I have used for this new uh, treatment protocol and paradigm really uh, is F-I-N-D-S-E-X and if you learn what that refers to then it gives you an easy way to remember how to uh, integrate this new protocol into your treatment of your patients. Uh, integrative Rheumatology is still in its second edition. I anticipate that a third edition will come out uh, in 2013. Integrative Chiropractic Management of High Blood Pressure and Chronic Hypertension is updated and expanded now in its second edition. Uh, that was updated from this previous book called Integrative Medicine and Functional Medicine for Chronic Hypertension and Evidence-Based Monograph for the Treatment of High Blood Pressure. Again, we're referring mostly here to the Integrative Orthopedics book now in its third edition. I also published another uh, very clinically oriented book called Migraine Headaches, Hypothyroidism, and Fibromyalgia. Also, back in 2009, I published Chiropractic and Naturopathic Mastery of Common Clinical Disorders, The Art of Co-Creating Wellness While Effectively Managing Acute and Chronic Health Disorders. Another book uh, recently has been Foundational Assessments and Wellness Promotion in Integrative Chiropractic and Functional Medicine. Uh, finally, for this list, uh, Fibromyalgia in a Nutshell, A Safe and Effective Functional Medicine Strategy. Uh, the book that I just referred to, Foundational Assessments and Wellness Promotion in Integrative Chiropractic and Functional Medicine, uh, that was actually one of the top selling books at Amazon.com a few months ago. And uh, all of the information that is in that book is in the new version of the Integrative Orthopedics book. Uh, this book is available, of course, from Amazon.com. It's also available from CreateSpace.com which is the publisher owned by Amazon.com. So again, thanks for taking a few moments to uh, look at this video, mostly referencing the third edition now of my Integrative Orthopedics book, which uh, you can see described here. Again, you can pause the video at any time if you want to actually read the text on the back cover. Obviously, that information is available uh, on my website, which is OptimalHealthResearch.com. It's also available at createspace.com, which is the publisher owned by Amazon.com. And of course, it's available here at Amazon.com, uh, and you're actually able to look inside the book here as well. So thanks for your interest, and um, obviously wish you the best in health and success. Thank you very much.